Plasma, the golden liquid that makes up more than half your blood, can be used to make life-saving medicines. Back in 2021, the NHS embarked on one of its most ambitious journeys yet. Firstly, to establish a reliable supply of plasma from blood and plasma donors. Secondly, to extract the precious antibodies that plasma contains to manufacture these medicines. Thirdly, to start giving these medicines to people across the country who rely on them. Now, after establishing this vein to vein supply chain and all the safety regulations necessary, patients are receiving these medicines and feeling the benefits. So, how did we get here? Let us take you through some of the landmark moments of the UK Plasma Programme. February 2021, the government gives a go ahead for plasma from UK donors to be used again to make immunoglobulin medicines, which can be used to treat people with immune deficiencies rare disorders and critical conditions. This comes after precautionary measures put in place in 1998 against the spread of CJD, commonly known as mad cow disease, are lifted following the latest advice from independent medical bodies. During this time, medicines had to come entirely from the international market, which exposed the NHS to shops and supply and cost. NHS blood and transplant is directed by the government to supply plasma to an appointed fractionator which will make the medicine. April 2021. Within just a couple of months, donors start giving plasma to make medicines. This happens quickly because existing sites set up to research the plasma of people who contracted COVID-19 are repurposed to collect plasma for medicines instead. Permanent donor centres are later established in Birmingham, Reading and Twickenham. August 2021. The NHS starts to recover plasma from blood donations in England to further boost supplies. The process includes separating plasma from the other blood components using centrifuge machines like this. August 2022. New donation machines are installed at all three plasma donor centres. They operate to lower height and weight criteria, allowing even more people, especially women, to donate plasma. October 2022. From this point onwards, plasma is recovered from every blood donation session in England. It means even if you can't make it to a plasma donor centre, by donating blood, you could still help make life-saving plasma medicines. April 2023 sees Plasma Donation Week held for the first time. It's a celebration of the amazing people who give plasma. July 2023. Another announcement from the government means that plasma from UK donors can also be used to make albumin medicines. This type of medicine often helps with traumatic burns and injuries during childbirth and liver treatment. The number of plasma donors is growing fast. By August 2024, 10,000 people have donated plasma at least once in England in the last year. After every donation, the plasma is frozen and stored at a warehouse facility. Also in August 2024, the first batch of frozen UK plasma is taken by lorry to Opta Pharma, the fractionator appointed by NHS England. This part of the journey can only start after a big stockpile of plasma has built up. This is needed to support the weekly shipments that follow. Octopharma will manufacture the medicines at its facilities in Europe. By September 2024, medicine production is well underway in Europe, separating the immunoglobulin and albumin proteins found in the plasma. During this process, the donations are pulled together, turned into a paste, the proteins are extracted and then purified. It takes many donations to make a single treatment. For example, it takes 130 plasma donations a year to make the medicine needed to save someone's life if they have a primary immune disorder. February 2025. The first immunoglobulin and albumin medicines from UK donors roll off the production lines and return to the UK, ready to be distributed to hospitals and used by patients. March 2025 
The first patients start to receive medicine made from UK plasma administered in hospital settings. This is a historic moment, the first time this has happened in more than 25 years. That brings us to now, the generosity of so many donors and the hard work of so many across the NHS have brought the manufacture of medicines from plasma a reality. The ambition is for the UK to reach 23% self-sufficiency in immunoglobulin medicines and 80% self-sufficiency in albumin in 2025. This will help make supply more sustainable and keep pace with the ever-increasing demand for plasma medicine, which grows at 7% a year. So this is why we need new blood and plasma donors across all of our centres. So if you are able to help, please book an appointment at blood.co.uk and make an appointment to give.